Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from ExudeAutomation.com and this is part 4 of our Mobile Framework Development with Appium video series. And in this part, we're going to talk about TestNG in Appium. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 9 and part 10 of Selenium Framework Design and Development video series of our Execute Automation channel since this part will have most of the concepts from those two parts. TestNG so TestNG is a testing framework inspired from JUnit and NUnit but introducing some new functionalities that makes it more powerful and easier to use. Like it has annotations, flexible to configure, uses parameters, multi-threading support and support data driven testing etc. So it has a lot of features. We have already discussed a lot about TestNG in part 9 and part 10 of Selenium Framework Design and Development video series of our Execute Automation channel and you can see these two videos are responsible for the concept of TestNG, right? So running multiple tests using TestNG suite is the main concept that TestNG is very famous for because it has a TestNG.xml file which is responsible for holding all the different kinds of methods within a test class and if you run the XML file as a test ng suit then that particular test will start to run and it will execute all the methods within that particular class and that is the greatest feature of test ng itself so let's not waste our time and flip to Eclipse and start to see how things works so this is the same project which we worked in part 3 of our mobile framework design and development video series and here in the last part we discussed about excel sheet and how to get the data out from an excel sheet all those stuffs right and in this part we're going to deal with a test ng so uh, let's first uh, talk about creating a small test method and run two test method and see how it works and then we'll try to create a custom test ng class and then we'll try to create the uh, test ng.xml file on the fly using the methods which we are specifying in the excel sheet and then we'll run from there right so i will just quickly uh, create one more test method here like public void simple test 2 and uh, i will just try to uh, you know uh, oops i'll just try to uh, write a very simple uh, System.out.println and I'll put like uh, I'm in simple test 2. Right? So this is just to demonstrate how we can run multiple tests using test ng. So now if I run this particular test, you can see that these two tests will execute uh, regardless of which test method you want to run. You don't have a control or the test that you want to execute because. Uh, test ng will not have that particular uh, option currently to know which method to execute and which method not to execute so for that let me first open the uh, visual studio emulator for android and uh, let me first uh, initiate the emulator all right the emulator is loaded and now let's try to run this test and see how it works so i'm just going to run this test using the test ng test and now if i execute this you can see that it will execute the test for oh sorry i forgot to open the appium so without appium how does it knows sorry all right let's see the configurations it's all perfect let me run the appium server as well All right, so let me uh, run this test once again. So now it has started the emulator, uh, the application in the emulator, and it's typing the values 20 and it's typing the value 30. All right, it performed the operation. And now let's go to the console and you can see that it executed the uh, test, the first test, and also I'm in simple test 2. So two methods are being executed automatically. So currently we don't have any control to specify which method to execute, right? 
So if you see this particular uh, test, it's actually running from an XML file right here. So there is a custom uh, test in G suit. It's automatically been created and uh, we can just open this and see how it looks like. So for that, uh, I can just open the file. And so this is the file which is automatically created uh, with our uh, test ng and it's uh, calling exactly the whole class to run the particular test right uh, if i want to specify a particular method within the class then i need to probably uh, write uh, something like this i need to specify a method name so i need to specify in the particular class which particular method i'm going to execute the test so i need to say like a method and within that method i need to specify which particular method slash method oops and then i need to specify include name is equal to so if i want to execute only the simple method 2 or simple test 2 then you can specify that particular method alone so uh, let's say this particular method i want to execute not the first one so i can just specify that i think it's methods all right and i think that's it so now if i copy this particular xml file and if i go to my project and let's say I want to create a folder uh, called uh, resources or something like that, maybe. Uh, I can just specify that. Right. And here I can create a XML file. Let's call this as uh, testng.xml and hit finish and here i'm going to paste this code right it's a very simple stuff which i can do and then uh, let me close this all right so now if i run this particular xml file as test ng suit you can see that only the second method is running not the first method and it executed right so you can see now that it is actually running from the f colon slash android workspace right from here not from the temporary path which it automatically uh, taking from so right now it is taking from this particular path right from here right so this is the way that you can execute multiple test methods using test ng and the same concept we are going to take further to create our own XML file on the fly. And that one we can do using the concepts which we have already learned, like reading data from an Excel sheet and then and creating the XML file on the fly and then running that particular test method using test ng libraries. We are going to do that in the next part of this video series. So thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.